In March 2009, a highly publicized feud between Comedy Central's Jon Stewart and CNBC's Jim Cramer culminated in an intense discussion about the financial news media on the March 12th episode of The Daily Show. A copy of the interview posted on The Daily Show website went viral. Well, I don't think, I think that, that your goal should always be to try to expose the fact that, you, that there is no easy money. I wish I had found Madoff. I wish but there are literally shows called Fast Money. Well, I, I think that people, there's a market for it, and you give it to them, and I think There's we a do market for cocaine and hookers. Well, <laughs> Interesting edit point. Unfortunately, the next three seconds are even more interesting, but were edited out of the version seen by hundreds of thousands of people. Well, I, I think that people, there's a market for it, and you give it to them, and I think there's we do... There's a market for cocaine and hookers. Well, <laughs> so what? I think those should be legalized. No, I... Kramer was being comedic and bringing up legalization in that context. But in fact, finance people tend to see prohibition as unworkable and flawed. The Economist magazine wrote about this the very same week. By keeping drugs illegal, we send all the money people spend on them into the criminal underground, fueling crime, corruption, and even civil wars. Half a million nonviolent drug offenders clog our prisons and jails, and revenue that could reduce the deficit if drugs were regulated and taxed is instead lost. Meanwhile, drugs are cheaper and more available than ever before. This is Stacia Kosner for StopTheDrugWar.org. Visit our website to learn more about why we need to end prohibition and how you can get involved.